Hi guys, you're welcome to the Laray Studios. Uh, this is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at uh, image images, you know, how to tint an image, you know, how to add an effect uh, to an image. But the effects particularly will be focused on tinting. Okay, I'll be moving straight to Android Studio, uh, where I have the source files of this uh, particular uh, tutorial. Uh, first of all, in uh, Gr Gradle scripts, uh, the build Gradle to project and also the build gradle with the model app session let's get to look at the model app probably we have some major dependencies right inside this course uh actually no particular dependencies for this particular application uh we only have a compile sdk version and also the build tools version okay let's move straight to the project session uh we still maintain the class part build gradle 1.5.0 that's fine I'll be going to our layout files to look at the particular layout used in this course. Uh, we have the main XML. Okay. Uh, I'll be going to the texts. This is a linear layout with the layout written height, um, few parents, and the orientation is vertical. Okay. Uh, let's get to look at the values. We only have the string values uh, where we have the app name and just the uh, hello world tutorial. Okay. Uh, I'll be looking at, at the drawable. Uh, we have the picture in which we'll be applying the tinting effect onto uh there's the picture of a frog okay so we'll be applying uh the uh the algorithm of tinting onto this particular picture okay uh we we'll maintain the icon uh, which is the android icon i'll be moving straight to our java classes where we have two java classes uh the tutorial on images and also my image view Let's pick the tutorial on images. Uh, that's the launcher activity uh, where we have to import the graphics bitmap, the graphics compressed format, the bitmap factory, and also the Android OS environment uh, with a toast. Okay, the tutorial on images class extends activity. Uh, we created five four fields the MTV, the M bitmap, the M photo width where we uh, initialize to zero. And also the photo height. We have the uncreate method uh, where we need to uh, instantiate the different fields called. Uh, I want you to look at the mbit map where we decode the resource uh, by getting the resources and also the drawable, which is the picture, the picture one I showed earlier. Okay, we're going to implement the tinting algorithm with the tint the picture uh, method where we're going to pass in uh, an attribute called deg, which is an integer data type. Uh, we have the peaks, uh, which is an array where we're going to multiply the width and height. Uh, we're going to get the pixels of the M-Proto width and also its height. Likewise, we're going to multiply, do a sort of a uh, mathematics here where we're going to multiply a decimal you know, to the double deck. And also, we're going to find the scene and cost of the angle We're using the math uh, inbuilt method. You know the math uh, method okay now we still have the index now we have a for loop for for yeah uh, instantiating y is equals to zero and if y is less than m photo height uh you're going to iterate by adding one to y uh, right inside this loop another for loop runs for the x so this is just like a multi for loop uh, which is holding on for the width okay uh it does a lot of uh check for the rgb color blah 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 this is where you get to instantiate get the color you know tint it up based on the red green blue uh color decimals all right uh we get the bitmap where we are passing the m photo width the height as well so we're going to save the result into a file on sd card so you're still going to save this picture with the save the picture method where you're going to make sure the folder is available on the SD card. Where you're going to get the external story directory uh, and assign, like concatenate with tutorial on images. Okay. Uh, you're going to save the image with a file output stream. Okay. Uh, and the MIME type is JPEG. Okay. Uh, we have the untouch event. So when you're actually touching, uh, a particular method will be calling. You know, where it's going to be a case of the motion event on up, on action up, uh, the tint picture is going to pass in 60 uh, 
into this uh, method. You know, we're going to pass it 16 with it uh, to tint it up. Okay, and um, display a short message on screen that uh, the, the particular picture was tinted. Okay, and after that, it's going to save the picture to the SD card. That's the, uh, the, the whole logic of this application. And now, uh, when the action down, uh, it's going to break it up and it's going to stop uh, tinting it. That's just what that's doing. Let's look at the, my image view method. Uh, where we imported uh, the bitmaps and the image view. Okay, it extends image view and uh, a constructor for the image view. Uh, where we set the image bitmap on size change, you know, we get the width, the height, the old width, and also the old height. Where we're going to uh, put them side by side to know its current width and its current height. Okay, and this is going to drop uh, onto the canvas. All right. I'll be looking at our manifest, whereby we only have the launcher application, which is the tutorial on images Java class. Okay, that's very fine. And also, we have a permission, which is the Android permission, write external storage. And we're going to write the external storage that we're going to write to uh, the SD card. Okay, I'll be uploading the source files to my GitHub account and also. Uh, I will be showing this in an Android emulator, so stay tuned. Here you go with the application, uh, the tutorial on images. Uh, so we have the images, uh, the image rather, of the frog right on canvas. So a up click of this image will tint it up to different color. I want you to look at this. Can you notice this? The picture was tinted. Okay, uh, another click. We'll bring it up again and this is actually saved on the sd card of the device okay uh that's adding little uh effects on pictures so you can actually still work more on this probably uh snap a picture you know and add this effect to it and that's just the integration you need to do you need to add camera snap to this i'll be trying to uh, arrange that in a couple of tutorials but uh, I want you to get a full group of how to actually tint images, you know. And the same way you do on brightness, the same way you do for uh, contrast, same way you do for tone, and and lots of uh, other effects on pictures. All right. Uh, thank you very, very much for having me with me throughout this uh, session. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.